All right, we're here with Deputy Mayor Jason Carr from the town of St. Stephen and Corporal Scott McKenzie from St. Stephen RCMP Detachment. And we're gonna talk about the flashing light here at King and Queen in St. Stephen. Take it away, Jason, tell us why this light is flashing. Well, the simple answer is, is that it's uh, aging infrastructure. It's one of our oldest sets of lights in town. So uh, we have in the past remedied the situation by small fixes or quick fixes and they've caught up to us. So uh, it's been brought to our attention that council may have to be looking at significant uh, dollars to uh, permanently fix the repair. All right, so is that sort of the go forward plan at this point that you're looking at what the options are for full replacement or just full repair? Well, at this point, again, it will be a, a quick fix um, to get us going as soon as possible, but uh, the big picture is, yes, we will have to be uh, investing some money. Okay, thank you. And over to you, Corporal McKenzie. Uh, we know that people seem to have some challenges in the correct utilization, the protocol of going through this particular intersection at this time. So can you just give us a quick how-to? What's the protocol for going through with these lights flashing? Uh, if we remember back to our driver training days, uh, the rule is that the people coming up Queen Street are faced with a flashing red, which is the same as a stop sign it has to be uh, taken as such. Um, so people on Queen Street have to yield to all of the traffic on King Street. They're only allowed to move through the intersection when it is safe to do so, when there's enough time to keep them and not interfere with uh, the traffic moving up and down King Street. Uh, I would say that traffic on King Street um, should not be stopping and waving people through from Queen Street. Um, that's just going to cause an accident as we have multiple turn lanes and one vehicle may not understand what's going on and may be proceeding through and, and may end up having a, a collision. So uh, just back to the basic rules, as I said, uh, people on Queen Street who are faced with flashing red um, have to take that as, as a stop sign as per the Motor Vehicle Act and the people on King Street, they have the flashing uh, yellow, which means they have to yield to anyone if they're moving through. Um, but as I say, the uh, people on King Street have priority and have the right of way. All right, that's great. And is there any, Jason, sort of idea what the time frame will be for, for the repair work? It is something that is uh, in the process right now. I guess parts have been ordered, so uh, it, it should be very soon that we'll get that looked after. All right. Well, thanks very much. Thank you.